Hi, I'm Nicole Hines, an account executive at Learning A to Z. I'm going to show you how reporting, analytics, and assessments work inside our products. Let's start with Kids A to Z. Once you log into a teacher account, click on the Reports dropdown and select My Classroom. Here we see the Reports page. We are in the Student Activity tab, which shows us how many times students have completed different activities. Clicking the other tabs will give you even more information about your students' skills, their assignments, and assessments. Select the Assignments header. Here you'll see certain students have a small blue hyperlink that reads View Student Annotations. Click the link to see all the fun they're having while reading a text, including using annotation tools and their own voice recording. Looks like this student loves to highlight. Hey, they're just like me. If we back out of the annotations area, there's one more thing in the assignment section that I want to show you. You'll see that there is a blue fraction in the quiz column. This is the score that the student received on their quiz. Let's drill down and click the blue link. Here we can look at the answers the students gave for each question. In Foundations A to Z, it's even easier to see reporting info. When navigating the main dashboard, you will see a general overview of your classroom statistics right on the homepage. So just kick back, pop some popcorn, and watch your students progress. If you want a more detailed look, click the hamburger menu in the top left-hand corner and select Student Progress under Reports. We can now see how each individual student is performing. Click the Assignments tab because there's a really cool assessment feature I want to show you. Here we will see all the assignments that students have completed. Select one of the unit assessments. Now we see all the students that have taken the assessment and what they scored. Click on an individual student and this Assign Auto Recommended Resources button appears. Based on incorrect responses, Foundations A to Z will automatically suggest resources to help students become more successful next time. Okay, wash the butter off your hands because it's time to learn about Writing A to Z. Writing A to Z has a really amazing feature that allows teachers to provide feedback to students directly. Just like in Foundations A to Z, we'll start by clicking the hamburger menu at the top of the page. Then select In Basket. Here we see the assignments students have completed. Click on the pencil at the far right of a lesson assignment. In the text box, we can write feedback to the student directly. They did a great job! We could also record a message by clicking on the microphone icon. Let's head over to Raz Plus for the last product I want to share. After logging in, click on the Resources tab, then hover over Assessments. In this view, select Benchmark Passages. Once here, we're going to see the word Level with a dropdown. Click the menu and then select Learning A to Z. You'll see that letters representing our leveling system have appeared underneath. We want to assign a Level M assessment so let's click Level M. It looks like there are four different passages to digitally assign, but which one to pick? Hmm, I've never rode a bullet train before. Let's assign that resource by clicking the Assign button. Now that we've assigned the resource, it's time to see how the student performed. Return to the Manage Students button at the top of the page and select In Basket. Here, teachers will see the assignments that they need to review from their students. They can score and analyze the data to help their students become the best readers they can be. Thanks for joining us on this quick peek at our reporting functions. If you want to see other ways statistics can help improve instruction, go to learningatoz.com to learn more.